Here's one to watch this season, the 24-year-old Russian Roman Safiallin. I personally really love Safiallin, uh, so let's get into who he is and why he's great. My name's Henry Tui, and subscribe if you love tennis. I'm really close to 100 subscribers, I would love to hit that milestone. So let's get into it. Roman Safiallin was an excellent junior and reached a career high ranking of number two in the world. And he has been improving steadily and building up his game ready for the main tour. And it's really starting to click for him now. Having overcome a shoulder injury where he needed surgery, he's primed and ready for this 2022 season. I first saw him at the ATP Cup, but he was really Russia's secret weapon, much like Karatsev was in the 2021 ATP Cup. And it was just really impressive stuff from Safiolin, who received glowing praise from Medvedev and Shapovalov, who he pushed to three sets in the singles. Tonight he was unbelievable. I was watching the match in, uh, in the locker room, had some definitely some, uh, some goosebumps. He should be ranked definitely inside the top 100. The way he was playing today, I mean, it was like top, top 10, top 20 tennis. So it, was, it was incredible. Since then, I've followed his progress. And again, he caught my eye when he played at Marseille this year, which is easily the best tournament of his career. He came through two rounds of qualifying and then won an incredible run. He defeated Alexi Popper in the seventh seed in the first round in a super tight three set victory. He then had another tight three set in the second round against a qualifier, which he followed up with the biggest win of his career by far, defeating the fifth best player in the world, Stefanos Tsitsipas, in two extremely straightforward sets. He played unbelievably well in that match, not giving anything away and playing so aggressively and completely outplaying Tsitsipas to get the upset of the tournament. He unfortunately did lose out to Felix Ogialiasim uh, in the next round in a tight two sets, uh, but still Aliasim needed two tight tie breaks to down the Russian. His form in that tournament was incredible and uh, I've been following his progress very closely all year. He's finding these sparks of inspiration more and more and is breaking onto the ATP Tour with much more consistency. But he does mostly compete on the Challenger Tour and do very well there. Last week he won the President's Cup Challenger title in Kazakhstan, which is his second ever Challenger title, and he defeated a Kazakh in the final. And obviously the crowd was fully supporting their countrymen, and uh, they were so against Safiolin, but he held his nerve and broke Yeziev as he served for the match, and then he took the title in a third set tiebreak and he just stayed so clutch and composed during the whole thing. But this is easily the best season of his career, and if he keeps playing on this form, then he will break into the top 100 for the first time in his career. And I feel like this will really build his confidence and allow him to play more ATP tournaments because he will receive more wild cards and things like that. And I'm a real fan of his, and I think you will be too. So here's hoping that he keeps stringing together these deep runs and hopefully clinches some titles. Because for me, he's one to watch. I've been Henry Tui, subscribe for more and vamos Roman.